Hey there magic one, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I hope you're having a really blessed week so far. I am currently working on the April monthly readings. I believe I have half of them done now. I'll pop the playlist up here for you and I'll be dropping the rest really soon as well. Uh, should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, I'm always available for those. And that is the first link down below there for you to head across to my website and you can check out what I offer. Keep in mind that the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. If you would like to learn my signature process for putting it all together and delivering a powerful reading. Uh, you can find me on social media. I am on Facebook and I'm also on Instagram. But use the link for Instagram down below because it is a fake account which, can you believe it, has more followers than me. So um, just to make sure you get the right one, if you use the one below, then you definitely, you definitely will. Uh, hit subscribe for me if you don't mind. Yes, that supports my channel. I think that's a great energy exchange between us and um, I will keep the, the readings coming from my heart, from my soul for you guys uh, in return. Uh, don't forget to like, share and comment. That's also a great support as well. Well, for now, I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Do take care. Bye for now. Welcome to your tarot reading for April 4th to the 10th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block. I've got three for the recent past. I have three for your focus energy, three for your near future outcome. I've got oracles, lead tarot energies, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Uh, this week I'm working with the Sacred Creators Oracle. I have the O'Hara Kosen Major Arcana deck. And I have the Moonchild and Starchild Tarot from Danielle Knoll, my personal fave, and the Radiant right away. I just got this feeling, Cancer, of illusionary energy, you know. The rose-tinted glasses, really wanting to see the best in this situation. But I feel like the very thing that is blinding you in this situation is holding you back from you know bigger hopes dreams and wishes is what I'm feeling and sometimes when we kind of operate a little bit blindly in situations we can head into tower moments because we're not really seeing things for truly what they are so we'll get to that first oracle out is overrate your intuition oh yes you know that intuition is your inner compass your inner guidance it's your navigate it's your it's your gps right and if we switch off our GPS, no, no wonder we can't really feel where we're going, right? Um, the feelings that you get in the pit of your stomach, the visions that you get, the insights, the synchronicities, you can trust in that so clearly. Something doesn't feel right, then it usually isn't. So you need to really overrate that intuition. Choose who you are becoming. There's this energy of getting back into control, of saying, well, I want to become, you know, happy, healthy, healed. I want to have high confidence. I want to look good. I want to feel good. I want to be successful. What do you need to remove from your life, Cancer, in order to get there? Because if we're in situations that make us feel eight of swords, right? Um, anxious, maybe depressed, maybe overwhelmed mentally, um, not knowing where we stand, you know, putting us up into the mind. We're most definitely not running the vibrations that we need to, to really attract true happiness, success and abundance in our lives. Okay. So I feel like there is something that needs to be released here. And I think the universe may give you a helping hand cancer if you don't do that. Strength or Leo energy here is your lead tarot energy. And this is really having strength, courage, and determination to look situations in the eye, assess them, and make really good moves for ourselves. Um, it can be this energy of like pride or ego getting in the way, you know. Sometimes we think, well, I committed to this, I, you know, I, I signed that marriage agreement, I signed that work contract, and now because I'm somebody that always follows through, I'll never let people down hell or high water I have to I have to keep going with this but you know what 
it is okay not to. It's okay not to. Sometimes it's just not the right thing. And we can't be a martyr and we can't sacrifice your own happiness for staying in situations that, you know what, they've just done their time. Okay. Leo is the energy of heart. Rules the heart and the spine. And I always say sometimes we need to have that backbone, that strength and courage to follow the energy of the heart and do what's right for us as led by the higher self. Because it feels like a new level of potential that you're yet to reach in life, Cancer. Seven of Cups. And the moon is kind of an, an interesting energy of this as well. Because the Seven of Cups for me is an energy of... If you're honest with yourself, like if you did take off those rose tinted glasses, I think what you would see, Cancer, is that you haven't been able to achieve or you haven't had delivered what was promised in the situation or what you set out to achieve. It's kind of the energy of fantasy or illusion or the dream hasn't been realized. Instead, it's kind of been, you know, kept at an arm's length. So this can look like being in a situation with someone who's promised the world and not delivered. Um, whether that's your boss who said, yeah, like when, when we just reach that ne next level of growth, you can have that pay rise or, you know, the promotion, that job will be yours, but it never happens. And there's always another excuse. And it's like a carrot that's dangled, but just to keep you there, just enough to keep you there, but not enough to allow you to reach your goals. In a relationship, it could be someone who says, yeah, no, I'll, I'll work on that, I promise. Or, you know, we'll move back to your hometown when xyz and never really doing that so i'm feeling hollow promises i'm feeling no so, so follow through but i feel you have somewhat justified that to yourself cancer to make it okay to stay there the star nine of cups and the eight of swords aquarian energy here with the star the star is this energy of big hopes dreams and wishes you know the the classic movie where it shows you know the young bright-eyed bushy-tailed um, person arriving in Hollywood with big hopes, dreams and wishes and then they start going for the auditions, right? Maybe they're a budding musician or actor or actress and they go for the auditions and they get rejected and maybe in their small hometown they were at the top of the food chain and they get those rejections, you know, and they might get a hundred rejections but it might be that the number 101 that they would get accepted by. But those rejections can really make you give up on the bigger dream, okay? I feel like in some way the situation has sort of beaten you down um, or made you give up for whatever reason your bigger hope, dream and wish. You could have been dealing with somebody who, you know, hasn't really been a supporter or has been a bit of a, you know, a bit of a controller and people often control by making you feel smaller than what you are. So that's just something that's coming through. You really need to heal that really and realize that you are, you are made of stardust and you are magic cancer. So I can see that you're feeling stuck and I feel like you're out of power as well, but that is just a mental prison that you've built for yourself based on, I feel listening to others that just didn't have anything constructive to say. It's time for you to get back on the path of your wish and make it happen. This is wish in it, wish fulfillment energy. Hopes, dreams, wishes, happiness, contentment, satisfaction. But I feel like there's a big old tower that needs to come down, okay? And you're needing to really listen to that intuition. See how this person's got the, the bindings around, sorry, the lighting is changing. Oh, I'm gonna have to. It could be, it might be all blown out here. Sorry, guys. Um, got the window, lights coming in there. Third eye, heart and gut. You know, that bandage is hitting all those areas, saying that when we just listen to the mind or, you know, what other people are, are feeding us, we are disconnected from our own intuition. And that's where the true guidance lies. So, Cancer, we've got the Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles here. Now, you might have seen that this came out um, in reverse, but I just keep them up right for the reading and I take that into consideration. I feel like what needs to happen is that there is a, it's either a work situation or a home situation, which can link to relationship, that needs to close here in order for you to really step into your truth and your power and realize your own value, worth and success. And that's going to make you so much more successful in the world. Five of Swords could mean that the situation has been 
uh, or starting to erupt into arguments or harsh words. And I think it is because you are awakening to the illusionary energy and you're starting to challenge it. But the other person doesn't want you to challenge it, right? So they push back, they gaslight, they manipulate, they make you feel like the crazy one. With the nine of, not the nine of swords, the five of swords, there is generally no winners, right? It's a hard fought battle that doesn't have a productive ending. It's not if, it's when to retreat your energy and move away. And I think that's going to be your biggest achievement in this situation, your biggest success. Because the four of cups down here, the, the, the way that you're staying in this and the way that you will continue to stay in this is that you'll disconnect emotionally and numb out and that's the only way like that coping strategy that you can stay in this and it's like you will just park that dream of the empress see the three cups the creation that's the number of the empress it's like or you'll just live it in terms of a fantasy right on the internal world internal world but the cards are saying you could make this an earthly reality so when we don't change and we stay in situations we have to realize that we will ex expect a a similar outcome because if things don't you know change or there's not the the work of transformation we'll get a very similar result and numbing out or disconnecting is not really the way to go and I feel like that will continue until the tower comes in and the tower is the universe stepping in cancer to help you out and dismantle the situation but we don't want to wait for the tower because this is where we can get sudden change that we're not prepared for instead of we take control and step up and do it on our own terms we can at least be ready right we can um, find a new job to go to we can make sure if we're ne needing to leave a home or that we share with a partner that we can go and stay somewhere else or that we've covered ourselves there so that's what I'm seeing. It feels like it's on a shaky foundation. It's only really a matter of time before it comes down anyway. The moon is Pisces energy and this can be the energy of things happening in the shadows or, you know, really realizing the truth in this situation and what's really been happening. And I think that you've been dealing with someone who is a bit of a tame dog, wild wolf or Jekyll and Hyde or has two sides. And, you know, it feels like um, you really need to be dealing with people that are a bit more consistent with you. The Nine of Pentacles says that you can do this on your own. You have everything you need. You're, you're actually very independent. Just this person may have led you to believe that you weren't. And it feels like there's you're better off by extracting your energy and going your own way. So you could be dealing with an Aquarian, a Leo or a Pisces here. Temperance is Sagittarius as well. And, and Temperance says that you've got the right ingredients to be guided somewhere else. There's the Nine of Cups again. Yeah, it feels like this is saying that everything that you've hoped, dreamed and wished for and actually making that happen. So the star is the divine wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is the earthly wish fulfillment. I feel if we stay in the situation, we'll have to check out mentally and emotionally and numb to stay there. And the hope, dream or wish that you have for your life will be, remain a dream of fantasy and illusion that you only get to experience in that way. If we allow in the tower or we should actually be taking action before we get to the tower and remove this from our life, um, then we have a shot at really making happen the tangible, the tangible realization of your wish for your life and that will be different for all of you what you're really wanting to create here but it feels like the situation that you're in is affecting your confidence and your energy um, and and your ability to make that happen don't forget to overrate your intuition and trust your inner compass okay cancer wow the lighting sorry it's crazy it's gonna be funny when i edit these but i just need to fix the the, the curtains up now the blinds um, I'm wishing you all the best with this reading. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. It can't, won't, isn't meant to resonate with all of you. Uh, drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I do read them all and try my best to interact with you all over there. Helps me get to know you and connect with your energy. 
hit subscribe if you haven't already that way you'll know when I post new readings and it's a great way to support the channel so I see that as the energy energy exchange between us as per when you like share and comment that's a great support as well you can find me on Facebook and Instagram but please use the links down below there is a fake account uh, it has more followers than me um, you'll know it's fake though because they'll ask you if you want a reading and I would never do that I'm wishing you so much love and magic cancer do take care bye for now